WordPress 6.2 is set to go live on March 28, 2023. This is the second major release of 2023 and will come with a few new features and improvements. So let's take a look at some of those improvements now. One of the first things you'll see is that the full site editor comes out of beta. You've been seeing a beta tag in the editor area under appearance and that will be gone. That simply means that it is out of development stage and it is stable for the community to create block based themes and experiment with your own WordPress sites, plugins and themes. Next, you can easily browse and choose templates to edit. Before it would load the home template of your theme by default and this left many wondering where they needed to go. With WordPress 6.2, the site editor will load with the template preview window first and then from here, you can browse your different templates and see a preview of what it looks like. And then simply click on the edit button to start working on the template. After that, you can click on the WordPress logo and this will bring back the template browser in the sidebar so you can choose another area to work on. If you're done editing everything, simply click on the logo again and you'll completely exit the site editor. Next, you can see all styles for all blocks in the style book. This is an excellent area to showcase all of the blocks and all the styles that your theme has. So you can go in and quickly make the changes. You can locate a block more quickly and then you can edit directly from here. After that, you can change the appearance style, customize it to whatever you need. As soon as you're clicking save, that will adjust and go live to the whole theme for your site. Some other cool features is when you're editing, there are different colors to indicate template parts that are being edited. For instance, this is purple to indicate that you're editing a header part. If you want to add custom CSS to your theme or specific blocks, they hid the theme customizer in previous sections. But now with 6.2, you can switch to the styles panel and select custom CSS from the menu. This is for areas that will allow that. Next, let's talk about the improved navigation menus. In the previous updates, the navigation menu for the full site editor has been a bit difficult for users. In WordPress 6.2, they have mostly solved this problem by improving the way that you can create and manage menus while using the site editor. From here, you can add new menu items. You can also just drag and drop to arrange them how you want. Another great style feature that they've added is the ability to copy and paste block styles. So if you spend a lot of time perfecting the appearance of a certain block, and you want to add that somewhere else, simply copy and then paste, and then you're good to go. And now they've separated sub panels for settings and styles. So with 6.2, the editor will show you two sub panels for a block, one for the settings on how you want it to work, and then one for the style and how you want it to look. On the patterns front, 6.2 has simplified the pattern insertion panel. So instead of showing previews of drop down menu, it simply shows the category first. So then you can get a really good idea of what the patterns will look like. A few other changes that they've made is you now have a download link for your media files. They've also added OpenVerse integration to add free images right from within your media library. It offers royalty open source images. And with 6.2, you'll be able to find any image that you want right from the media panel. Now the settings panel, we used to have a cog icon to tell you what it was. Now they've changed the icon so you can separate that out just a little bit. Finally, let's talk about the new distraction free mode introduced. 6.2 comes with a completely clean and calm distraction free mode. So you can be able to choose your editing settings right from here. This lets you write your articles in complete distraction free mode, but don't worry, you need to add a block quickly. You can still do that as well. And as always, they've done a ton of under the hood changes intended for developers that you can check out in our written tutorial if you want to see some of those. And as always, let us know in the comments below which is your favorite feature that they've added. And thanks for watching.